Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us today for our discussion on emerging tech leaders and the rise of the Parramatta startup. I'm Karim Kisarani uh, with the Economic Development Team at City of Parramatta Council, um, and I'm very pleased to introduce our panel today, representing companies and organizations who are doing some very exciting things in the startup space. We have Rebecca Pham, Program Manager at Launchpad Western Sydney University, a technology uh, business incubator with a thriving space in the Parramatta CBD. Isabella Sykes, Chief Operating Officer at Earth AI, whose Australian head office operates out of Launchpad in Parramatta. Peter James Uehi, Founder and Managing Director of Grounded Space, a co-working space with two successful locations in the Parramatta CBD. Amanda Sequeira, CEO and Founder of Vapar, uh, whose business had its start at Grounded Space and is currently based in inner Sydney. And joining us soon will be Davor Josik, who's the Associate Director uh, Precinct with New South Wales Treasury. So thank you all for being here. Um, for our viewers, we will have some time at the end of the segments to take your questions. So please do share them with us. Um, and we have a lot to cover in 30 minutes. So let's get started. We've got a lot to find out about the Parameter Startup ecosystem. Um, maybe not a lot's known about it. Um, and I'd actually like to start with Peter from Grounded Space. Um, you've been quite successful, Peter, um, and you've recently expanded to a second location in Parameter. Were you seeing many startups um, coming through Grounded Space initially? I mean, uh, firstly, thanks for having us um, here today. We, when we opened Grounded Space, we did definitely envision having startups using our, our facilities. Uh, it very much wasn't the case for us though when we began because I think people just weren't aware that there was a, a space in Parramatta or Western Sydney that um, would support startups. So we struggled definitely to, to get startups to begin with. And uh, Amanda, who happened to use the space early on, only found out about us because we had studied engineering together. So um, it took a little while before we, I suppose, we got, got a name for ourselves and for startups to, to start using the space. Um, and as time went on, we definitely did see some startups come through. Uh, well, those who have been coming through, from your experience, um, who would you say is the parameter startup? What are they doing? So I, I won't single out any anyone, right? But what we do tend to get a lot of is people, I suppose, in construction. So um, I, I think there's a lot of development going around in the area. So um, a lot of people will be familiar with Parramatta Square, for example. So we've had startups who are working on that project, whether it be clash detection um, software or um, project management software, things like that, um, that are coming through. So they use our space because they're still starting up, right? So they want to be next to the job site. So if anything goes wrong, they can be there nearby. Um, Amanda's another case study who used our um, space. So no longer here at the moment, but um, she also did come through um, not quite construction, but sort of construction related, I guess. Thanks. Uh, Rebecca, you're also in Parramatta. Uh, what has your experience been like at Launchpad? Would you say the startups are quite similar? Yeah, thanks, Karim, for organising this. Um, I would just say that we currently run our incubators in Parramatta and in Penrith, um, but we support startups across the whole region. Um, for our Parramatta space, we've seen a range of startups come through, um, particularly focused in deep tech, such as AI, machine learning, VR, XI, and data analytics. Um, and the industries these startups are working on tend to, you know, be in the prop tech, health, um, cyber, gaming, and tech space. Um, just to give you an idea of some of them, we've got Earth AI do doing mineral exploration, whom you'll hear from earlier, um, later, sorry. Uh, a gaming company, Alta, uh, they're building a multiplayer VR game and they've got the fourth biggest VR community in the world right now on Discord. Uh, we also have the technical director of Hollywood film, Happy Feet 2, working on a startup called Block 42, and their business is to help uh, students explore AI and STEM through 3D animation games. The, the founders and the teams of these companies are typically already living in Western Sydney and want to work close to home. Uh, aside from the location, I think a big part of why we are able to attract these startups is due to what we do at Launchpad. Um, we're really deeply embedded within the university's research, research and teaching, um, working really closely with the School of Engineering and Computer Data and Mathematics. Um, so this allows our startups in Parramatta to tap into a wealth of knowledge um, and expertise from our researchers, academics, students, and network of mentors um, and facilities on demand. Um, so with all this capability at our doorsteps, we see Parramatta as a really great opportunity to build a strong um, tech startup ecosystem. 
Thank you. Thanks, Rebecca. Um, b building on from that, Peter, what do you think um, for yourself um, and for your startups is the driver for startups looking to consider Parameta for launching or establishing? Yeah, I definitely think locations are um, a big factor. So from, from the startups that we have seen use the space, um, they're not necessarily local. A lot of them are local, but a lot of them just find that it's, it's a mutual meeting point for them. Um, so, I mean, we're, we're in the middle of, you know, further out west in that city and it's, you know, with Paramount Station uh, right at our doorstep anyway. Um, it makes it quite easy to access our space. Thank you. Now, you've mentioned Amanda, who is here with us today, um, who did actually have her start um, at uh, Granted Space. So, Amanda, if I throw it to you, um, what was your connection to Parramatta? Yeah, I actually um, grew, grew up in Parramatta, um, went to school in Parramatta, and um, yeah, was working in Parramatta with, um, with Peter. So, um, in fact, my, my co-founder and I both studied in Parramatta, so we're um, all kind of Western Sydney kids and um, kind of grew up there. So, yeah, Parramatta is definitely, um, you know, a natural place for us to start. And clearly there's a lot of talent um, in Parramatta, which uh, people might not totally. be aware of. Um, now, as you've scaled up, you really catered initially to the Sydney Startup Hub. So you left um, Parramatta um, and now you're now based in inner Sydney. What was the impetus for your move from Parramatta? Yeah, it was, it, it was a probably a unique one in terms of um, we actually got New South Wales government support um, to be located in the Sydney startup hub. So um, we we were out of sitting out of the startup hub there. Um, and if you're familiar with it, it's just like a bunch of startups um, and not dissimilar to um, kind of the networking, the environment that um, people like Pete have built in in Grounded Space. Um, and I'm sure Launchpad, like Rebecca's mentioned. So, um, so yeah, it was, I think at that time, you know, we moved because of that reason, but um, but yeah, the, the, there's certainly that environment being fostered in Parramatta at the moment. Thank you. Uh, so uh, just expanding on that, what do you believe Parramatta needs or needs to do more of to ensure that startups like yours can actually remain here and remain successful? Yeah, I think COVID has been a really um, interesting um, catalyst for de-aggregating people out of the CBD. Um, you know, we, we moved there um, for the government reason, but also we had a lot of investors and consultants kind of aggregating in and around the CBD that it was just um, it was just easier to connect with people face to face. But um, now that we're being challenged to um, push stuff, push meetings online um i think that has you know has made moving to um moving out of the city a little bit easier and um and i think Parramatta specifically um the like pete said the transport connections um the the bars and the community around there creates a life and a space for um for networks to grow for startups so where you can get consultants and um, people to really support startups um, and create a network i think and so if we can do that, hopefully we'll see you and your company back in Parramatta one day. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully. Um, now, if I throw it back to Rebecca, um, Rebecca, as an incubator, Launchpad would be constantly responding to the needs of your startups. Um, what challenges do you believe your startups are having, whether it be at a local, say, Parramatta level or even a regional, so Greater Sydney or Western Sydney level? Yeah, sure. So we support about, you know, 60 or so startups in both Paramount and Penrith at any one time. And some of the biggest challenges we see in the face is probably no different to any other startup. You know, it's around money, getting enough cash to get started and to scale is typically hard, um, particularly when there's limited funding opportunities in Australia and it's such a small market to sell to, um, and also the technical expertise to execute. So um, we try to address this as as much as we can as part of our Launchpad's core offering in all our programs is to really have a strong integrated business and technology support service to help them. Um, and pertinent to Parramatta, um, I think the challenge we see is that there's still very limited scale up support for our startups. So, you know, we've got a pretty small space in Parramatta. I think there's been a few times that we've incubated and get started a few startups and had to see them leave to, you know, save the Sydney Startup Hub because we physically didn't have the space to um, support them. Um, taking this into consideration, we are opening up a new um, Parramatta vertical campus um, mid next year. So, you know, we're going to have two times the space as our current incubator in Parramatta. Um, it's co-located with our School of Engineering and Industrial Design 
school and um, we were also taken into account and provided um, well we're going to have overflow space for our scale ups to rent commercial office space when they do outgrow the incubator as well. That is great. Thank you so much for that. Um, Davor, thank you for joining us. Um, now, uh, you are very much across um, what's happening in the Sydney CBD as well and, and probably the, the whole region. Um, so from your, your perspective, do the startups in Parramatta face different challenges than those in the Sydney CBD? Thanks, Kareem, and, and, and apologies, I had a few technical issues, so you always get that at the Sydney Startup Hub, right? Um, uh, government firewall, so th thanks, and good, good to be part of this. I think Rebecca summed up uh, sort of quite well the challenges that sort of West, Western Sydney startup hub startups face in general. I think on top of things like fundraising, talent attraction, sales, like I think what you might sort of lack right now in Parramatta is that sort of connective ecosystem that sort of guides you. I think I think Amanda mentioned a lot of the reasons that sort of led to her moving out to the CBD is because you have those sort of key players, those people uh, in the community, that the, the right legal people, the VC people, the people that can help your, your startup grow. So I think as, Pat as right now sort of Parramatta doesn't have a lot of those things, but it is growing. Like, you know, I know Rebecca's through Rebecca and WSU, they've got an entrepreneur in residence. Um, you know, there's things online now like sort of mentoring platforms that we have on the New South Wales startup community platform. So I think that will grow over time, but at the moment that's probably a bit limited. So I think that's a, that's a massive area for growth as, you know, as the Parramatta ecosystem, you know, grows. Thank you, Davo. Now, it sounds like there is a lot um, going on. There's a lot, certainly a lot of stuff, uh, Rebecca, that you've touched on at um, Launchpad. What are some of the other things, um, uh, you know, in terms of connections with corporates um, or events um, that Launchpad's um, involved with at the moment? Yeah, so there's um, typically two ways that startups can get involved with Launchpad. Um, the first is um, taking up a membership. So that's, you know, just being part of the incubator, taking up the space. Um, and then you get access to a range of events that we put on and workshops that we do. Um, there's also an opportunity to apply for our accelerator programs, which are more, um, it, you know, it's a more intensive, structured way for us to help fast track your um, your startup over a period of time, usually six to nine months. Um, and we do both um, industry specific and industry agnostic programs. We've recently just ran um, a project startup accelerator with Lancom, one of our key partners. Um, and as part of those programs, you know, startups get access to free co-working space in our incubators, um, dedicated mentoring from our entrepreneur in residence, as Davon mentioned, um, technical support and product development, uh, tailored workshops, masterclasses, help with access to fundings and grants, um, streamlined recruitment of talent through um, WSU, um, and also a range of discounts to popular startup uh, tools and softwares. Um, et cetera. So um, that program is actually um, accepting at ex expressions of interest right now. Um, it is a competitive process with only 20 spots. Um, there isn't any cost to the startups. Um, it's just their time and commitment. Um, yeah, so that's another way to get involved. That's fantastic. Thank you. And one startup that is actually taking advantage of a lot of what Launchpad has to offer is Earth AI, and we have Isabella here as well. So thank you for joining us. Um, Isabella, can you tell us a little bit about Earth AI and um, your start in Parramatta? Um, so Earth AI is like a mineral exploration technology company. So our company deals with AI as well as hardware, and also we have a very detailed like operation exploring all across Australia. So we moved to Parramatta in early 2018 to be part of Launchpad. Oh, my light has gone out in my room. Um, well, you can still see me. So. We can still see you. Um, yeah. Um, so we moved to Parramatta to be part of Launchpad. Um, it was a really great opportunity for us because it offered us a bit more space than we currently had in the CBD. And we were looking to move out of just the AI software area and move into more hardware and operations and we just needed that bit more physical space which sort of Parramatta and like Western Sydney do offer for us. So other than the physical space um, what are some of the other opportunities um, that have been available to you being based in Parramatta um, and what has made Parramatta a good home for you since 2018? I guess it's probably like a mix of a few things like being connected to the university and having that sort of backing with the university and all the different sort of opportunities that we could see. So it was talking a bit with like how we can structure our organization, how we can improve our ops. And then also just that connection to the technology that's there. 
like little things from 3D printers to print models, just to having someone to talk to, as well as like just hiring out of Western Sydney was something like very interesting to see. You got a different like pool of candidates for when you were just looking at like in the CBD of Sydney. So as you continue to scale up, would you like to see a future for FAI in Parramatta? I think definitely within Parramatta, like Earth AI can grow. It does because we are working in a lot of hardware at the moment. Um, it's the most practical place for us to be within Sydney um, with a lot of infrastructure and sort of like just the space around um, Western Sydney working in like more hardware world is much easier for us. But also just the connection with the university is still great. And I think it's a great place for us to grow as a company. Um, even though we have sites like in the US and across Australia, like we really do like our Parramatta like head office. Which I think is very good news for all of us here in, um, presenting today and music to the ears of Launchpad, I'm sure, if um, that affiliation continues. So that's really good. Thank you so much. Um, uh, talking about success um, and the future of Parramatta, Davor, you would have a lot of insight into the success of startups um, at the Sydney Startup Hub at Wynyard. Um, you've touched on this a little bit, um, but do you believe Parramatta is on the right track? Are we on the right track to continue the growth um, that we have been seeing so far? I know it's, you know, we haven't um, sort of gotten to where we wanted to um, just yet, but are we on the right track? Yeah, thanks. I, I definitely think so. And I think it's definitely on the back of, you know, great work by, you know, Rebecca and, and, and Peter's organizations, uh, you know, Launch Plan Ground and Space have been leading the charge. I think you've seen Parramatta go through a transformation recently over the past five years in terms of just the buildings that are coming online, the amount of sort of a, um, commercial workers, new businesses moving in, which is also exciting. But there is sort of uh, a growing startup and innovation ecosystem. And I think, you know, we as, the, as sort of the government rep on this call, we've learned a lot about the Sydney Startup Hub here. And uh, we We've always treated this sort of building and project as a pilot, and I think now we want to take some of those learnings and ex ex sort of expand them out west. Um, I think, in terms of an innovation precincts or a district's perspective, you know, which is kind of you know my role, we see Westmead is a sort of a, a key focus in that central river city, and sort of within broader Westmead, Parramatta North uh, we see as like a key activation node. Parramatta North is super interesting because it sits right between Westmead and the Parramatta CBD. So we are actually planning to open up a Western Sydney startup pub that will be located in the Paramount North. It'll be a really cool boutique heritage building that'll be around 1,500 square metres uh, in size. We are hoping to launch an EOI early next month, uh, early, early November, so please keep an eye on that um, uh, for any interested operators th through tr Treasury's uh, Twitter or, or LinkedIn so social media handles. Um, and, and, and we think that that will hopefully be a catalyst for, you know, uh, startups like Amanda's uh, to, to stay. You know, we, we want to make sure that, that, you know, startups in Western Sydney and Parramatta have the same sort of resources, capabilities and growth potential to stay so they can create jobs in their local areas and not have to, you know, come out to the CBD. Yeah, there's a lot of growth, absolutely. And for those watching, you know, by all means, please keep an eye out because um, I think that's very exciting news about startup, um, another startup hub um, in, in Parramatta to add to the great work that Launchpad and Grand and Space are doing. Um, and, and certainly, I, there, I think there are um, a lot of exciting uh, plans for the future. Um, Peter, you've expanded your space already in Parramatta. Um, do you see further growth for yourself in, in Parramatta? Uh, the Western Sydney Startup Hub sounds pretty good. Um, no, but we're, look, we're always looking for opportunity. I think Western Sydney as a, as a whole, um, for, for us, just really suits the brand and what we're trying to do in focusing on Western Sydney. But um, with all the growth happening in Parramatta, I think it's a no-brainer to try to continue our expansion in the area. Um, I think there's still a lot of work that we need to be doing to support more startups. So, you know, um, one good thing is, is working with Parramatta Council, for example, for um, an, an innovation um, uh, group, I guess, because we can't do it on our own. You know, we need a little more support from other organisations. So um, teaming up with kind of everyone in this, in, in this meeting right now, really, um, on how we can help more startups and, and that sort of thing before we, uh, I guess, take that next step in, in grow further growing in the area. 
No, that's great. Thank you. And I'll just take a moment now. If there are any questions, um, please send them through um, before we wrap up. But um, that's absolutely right. I, I do want to say from, um, you know, Council's perspective, I, I think one of the things that's quite important is that um, there is sort of that collaboration, um, not just amongst the stakeholders within the city um, that, you know, we can come together and, and work on um, sort of initiatives much like this one, but but also that there is that support from all levels of government, not just local government, you know, that um, you, at local council level, we might be um, restricted in terms of the resources that we have, but certainly um, looking at the great work that the said government's doing and being able to work collectively, I, I think that that's a great opportunity. Um, Davor, beyond that, what other opportunities um, do you see for Parramatta and the startup space in the future? What what does that look like, or do you think that will look like in a few years' time? I think it's exciting and I think, you know, if you sort of look at our future state, hopefully, you know, in 12 months' time, you know, we're talking about hopefully the Western Sydney Startup Hub will, will be sort of open, if not very close to opening. You know, Western Sydney University's new launchpad space in the Parramatta CBD, uh, you, you know, will be open. Hopefully COVID will be a thing of the past and most of us will be able to sort of go back to the office and hopefully collaborate with each other. I think um, I think what, what Parramatta needs, it's touching on what Peter said, is um, I think as an ecosystem you know, Paramount has to promote its wins more, you know, you know, startups like Earth AI, I think, you know, they, perhaps they don't have the visibility uh, as they probably should, you know, doing some really exciting and cool things. It's a very much a deep tech uh, startup. So I think in terms of, I think we need to get better, you know, promotion and, and branding. And I think, you know, uh, you know, there's, you know, in, in, from a state government perspective, I think, you know, that sort of broader Westmead area is also a massive sort of a growth opportunity with all the health and medical research uh, and all the sort of those growing health and, and med tech sectors, there's a, there's a lot for us to sort of unpack and, and, and look at there. But I think even in 12 months, if we come back to this sort of group in 12 months' time, hopefully uh, there'll be a lot more initiatives and a lot more sort of startup success and, you know, startups, you know, transitioning into that more sort of scale-up, uh, you know, space and, and growth phase. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I think you've mentioned Westmead, you've mentioned Parramatta North. Um, what, what's happening in Westmead is quite amazing, the investment um, in that space. And also we have to recognise that university, uh, um, so Western Sydney University, um, is uh, delivering the innovation quarter as well in Westmead. Um, and there's some, some great tenants that have been announced. I believe CSIRO have been announced for that for that um, quarter as well, as, as well as the innovation and engineering hub in the Parramatta CBD. We've got other universities, such as University of New England, that's also so in the Parameter CB doing some great work. Swinburne University um, have also recently established, so I think in the education and also the health um, sectors, there, there's a lot of investment. Um, and I think that's potentially where a lot of these opportunities might come from as well. Um, potentially also they need to connect with some of the corporates um, in the city. Um, so I, I think, you know, they're all great opportunities. Um, and absolutely, I think there are more opportunities for us to work together. Um, did anyone have anything to add to that at all? I'm even from a startup's perspective. That's all good. That's fine. Um, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Yep. Oh no, I was I was gonna um, say that yeah I think it's I think it's well covered. There's um, there's huge opportunity in in Western Sydney and, and like you say, just numbering off all of those um, universities, um, you know that's that's a prime prime um, kind of environment for innovation, and that's that's how you used to get started. So it's um, it's coming. Thank you. Now, um, we don't have a lot of time left. I, I do want to say to, to those watching, um, by all means, reach out to us. Um, and so I'd, I'd love to, for um, people to um, be able to reach out to you directly, um, whether it be the startups that we have represented here, Launch Battle Grounded Space. So um, do you want to take a moment to just let people know how they can reach you? And we'll start with um, Rebecca. Yeah, sure. So if you'd like to find out more about um, any of our programs that we're running, launchpadlive.com.au is the uh, website to head to. Otherwise, feel free to email me directly as well, um, r.fam at westernsydney.edu.au. Thank you. And Peter? Yeah, cool. Most of our information should be online, groundedspace.com.au, or same thing, you can email me, peter at groundedspace.com.au. Great, thank you. And obviously, we've got um, Davor at the, well, it's currently the Sydney Startup Hub at Wynyard, but, you know, keep an eye out, um, you said, for any news in the coming weeks. 
Yeah, so, so I think just on that, I think uh, there's no website I can sort of point to people from a Western Sydney perspective, but keep an eye on the Treasury social media. Just give that a follow on LinkedIn or Twitter. And I think for those interested in sort of tapping into the mentor networks that throughout New South Wales, the website to go to is just community dot sydney startup hub dot com that is meant to be a place for you know all startups within new south wales to sort of come together and there are awesome 22 met- mentors on there that are sort of run virtual office hour sessions that can sort of help you uh, you know wherever you are in your sort of a startup journey that's great thank you and for anyone watching who wants to connect with our startups as well um uh, amanda did you want to let people know how they can get in contact with you yeah, um, if you just um, flick me an email on amanda at v- vapor.co, um, V-A-P-A-R.co, happy to chat about, um, yeah, anything, any like experience in the startup hubs or, um, you know, we've got several, we've been really lucky to um, be supported with several government grants, um, both state and federal, um, and also raised, uh, lucky enough to raise some um, some capital as well if anybody wants um, any, um, my opinion on that, uh, I can I can certainly provide that. Thank you. And Isabella? Um, yeah, you can reach me at Isabella at earth-ai.com. Um, yeah, so we have, we've done a lot of expanding. So if anyone ever wants to talk about like how to expand to different parts of the world, that's something we could talk about. Or if you just want to know more about what we're doing, you can obviously look at our website, earth-ai.com. That all is very, very exciting. Um, if anyone wants to reach out to you um, or find out more about what um, is happening in the city of Parramatta or reach out to council, um, investparramatta.com.au um, is a great resource. Um, and there'll be a lot more information there in the um, coming months about um, what, what council is doing. Um, there's some exciting projects, a lot of amazing investments as well. Um, so we'd love to hear from people. Um, we'd love to be able to connect our um, spaces and our startups together. And um, as, as, as we wrap up, keep your eyes peeled for some amazing and exciting news from Parramatta. Um, thank you everyone for uh, tuning in. We appreciate your time and we'd love to hear from you soon. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you.